Hello, so there's a new texture pack update and it's got a nice little feature in there that I'm going to show you how to use today. So let's get to the download of it. The version we're talking about today is version 2.1 and you can get that from your downloads page on, well, on flanker.com you go to your accounts, downloads, and then download the 2.1. I literally just downloaded it like a billion times, so I'm not going to do it again. I've got it in my downloads folder. So I'm going to go into Blender, uh, preferences, install my downloads and in amongst all this crap somewhere there it is so install that and enable it you can just install this over the top of your existing one if you don't have an older version before so if you had the 2.0.4 which was a previous version you should be able to just update by installing the add-on and it'll just overwrite everything on there and if you don't see the uh daisy textures thing like this oh, i'm gonna put my license key in first so activate I'll just paste in my fucking folder location. That's not my license key. That's my license key. So paste that in there. Activate. And then, as you can see, it disappears. That's because there's no model on the scene. So I'm going to add a, a model. Uh, let me do it from my collections catalog. So uh, collections, guns. I'll just import that one real quick. So now there's a model in the scene. You can see that we have the Daisy textures panel. And when you first install it, this is a fresh install. We we'll just have base and PBR V3 because there's no need for the custom logo painter since the decal already has this applied. So if you look at the uh, node like this, see, this is what the custom logo painter did, all this stuff here. So it's built into all the version three nodes now. When If you want to get more textures, so you want to go to the website, go to textures. And... I'm going to get a couple of these version free ones. So we've got carbon fiber. You can see the V3 icon up here. That means that, that these ones are run on the V3 node, which is what you want. I am eventually, when I get around to it, doing all these textures to version free. I'm just doing the, the most common ones first. So I'm going to download this one. So you've got to click into it and hit the download button. And as you can see, just above the download button, it tells you which category it installs into. So it's fabric for that one. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get a different one as well just so I can show you this new this new thing that I've made that I'm excited about. So I'm going to get this one, this the digital camo, because I can change the colors and stuff on this one. It'd be perfect to explain. That one goes into camo. So back in Blender, you can see the install textures is right here. Go to your downloads and you can set them to zips that you downloaded from the website, which is digital camo and carbon fiber for me. So I install textures says at the bottom here, install textures, digital camo, and carbon fiber. But I don't see them on here. So that's this little refresh button up here. You click that. And there we go. We've got camo. And we've got fabric. And if you've got multiple um, textures inside the category, you can click on there and pick which one you want. Like so. So I'm going to apply the base text. No, I'm going to apply a different one. I'm going to apply the camo. To this part of the model which is what we used to do before we used to just click on a model and apply it like so uh, there's now this is updated a little bit so i understand what this bit is so the material is already in use do you want to use the existing one so use the same settings and colors that you had on the one you previously applied or you can apply it as a new texture so if i use existing i'll show you what i mean so both of these parts here now are using the same texture so if i change the color of this you see how they change together but let's say I wanted to, do, to apply the camo to this, but I didn't want it to be the same color. So I click there and I click apply as new. As you can see, I can independently change this one now, like so. So um, this is the fun part now. So inside of here, let's just say if, if you want to isolate just this part, which I need to go into this mode. To get into this mode, by the way, sorry, my apologies. I'll just skip the header there. It's this object mode at the top left. You want to change that to edit mode. Or if you want to do a shortcut, it's your tab key. It switches between object and edit mode like this. And then if you can't select anything like I couldn't before, you need to change this to the faces mode there. Or you can press three on your number pad. So you can do one, two, three on your, oh, not on your number pad, sorry, above the QWE. Press one, two, three, and it cycles between these. See, so if I press one, two, three. So it's three you want to select the faces. So I'm in here. And instead of getting right into the corners and stuff like that, sometimes you can get lucky and just hover your mouse over the area you want to select and press L like that, like that. And before, I'm not. I'm just going to show you the old method where you just do this, 
and separate by selection and then apply a material to it because it makes it a separate model it's easier to apply but then you have to join these back together so instead of doing that i'm going to go back to where it's just one model again like this so it's just one model so i've got that bit selected i'm going to do up here as well i'm going to press l on this part uh i'm going to do it on there as well so i've got them three parts selected and without separating it i'm going to apply the carbon fiber to it so it says apply material to selected you can just do that now and it should just straight up apply to them parts without separating the model now so it makes it much easier if you just have one model you don't have to fully break it down into everything now so hopefully you enjoy this new update and if you get stuck with anything join my discord it's uh there'll be a link in the description or there's a button right here that takes you straight to it so i hope this has helped again i'm repeating myself i hope this helped yeah yeah that'll do i hope it helped enjoy the video guys leave a like if it helped you